Jim Furman has worked with specialized machines like this mill for years, but now he's teaching John Wood Community College students here at the Workforce Development Center the high-tech skills local companies are looking for. And they've got to have somebody in place that knows how to operate these machines. Some of these machines are upwards of a half million dollars. Mm -hmm. You can't just pull somebody in off the street and put them on a machine to tear it up. They've got to go to training to know what they're doing. Students here learn the latest skills from computerized drafting to automated milling. Training like this addresses a skills gap in today's workforce and a worker shortage in the very near future. There are a lot of baby boomers and older workers in the manufacturing sector. It's, it's a large part of our economy, so we want to get the younger crowd trained <laughs> in, in the manufacturing area so that they're abreast of the technologies and skills that are needed to work in these industries. Now, what kind of people are good at these types of jobs that require all of this attention to detail? Video gamers. Really? Video gamers. Why is that? Because they like pushing buttons. They're focused on what they're doing all the time. Uh-huh. Um, anybody good with math as well? This is a math trade, so you've got you've to know basic math. Women are also sought after in this field because of their attention to detail. While many students are looking to enter a manufacturing career, others are looking to enhance the skills they already have. John O'Brien has worked yeah. manufacturing jobs for 40 years, but saw the need to go back to class in order to keep up with the ever-changing field. So in order for me to keep up with needs of my customers, I have to learn new skills to uh, enhance the ones that I already have. Skills in high demand as the local manufacturing industry continues to grow. Melissa Shriver, KHQA News, Quincy.